Guys, then we're back with another experiment. At school, we made, at my school, we made a uh, thing called the Tiny Ocean. But we're gonna buy, I got this Ziploc bag that's big. We're gonna make a big ocean. Yeah. We're, we're gonna try to replicate a big one because, because if I, because if my teachers would have solved the video, we, they would probably be surprised by it. But it's also very cool. Fill this up with water. We got our water. And also be careful because you don't want to poke a hole in it. And also, when we touch it, it feels really squishy in the back. This way, this way. And I smell very good. We're gonna add the salt. You can use coarse salt or some sea salt. I would rather use cooking salt, even though that's kind of like both the same things. But it actually looks very good the same way. Now when we have the salt in, you can see it's very clear like the ocean. But it's but but if the ocean was more like this color, we need it to be blue. So I got this big bag of ocean right here. We kind of replicated it, we copycatted it. And we, we make the waves. And one thing we make the waves. Okay, now when we mix the water up, it seems very clear because the salt is actually dissolving into the water. Because we learn about this as well. So, learn about sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide actually dissolves in hot water. So, if we add sodium hydroxide to this ocean, it will dissolve if we had hot water ocean. So, this probably means that this salt is actually... I don't want to the ocean I made. I don't want to spill on the floor. Okay, so one thing you know is that this, this is actually sea salt. Sea salt actually comes from many waters, ocean, what we know. And the reason why, because the reason why the ocean is salty, because because all those palm trees at the beach <laughs> make, do you think the sand that's in there? Maybe. Because maybe because the when you see a beach, the water is the the ocean usually makes waves on the sand. I think that's how we got the salt. Because like little sand particles, I think I think they collect some salt while they um should we add more ocean? I wanna make more ocean. I'm gonna make more waves until now we're gonna no no can you ask us about the ocean? I wonder why the water looks blue. You guessed it because it came from the sky. Yeah, because the sky is blue as well, huh? What's I don't know. Yeah, the sky is blue because actually you might see Lake Michigan blue as well. Mm -hmm. Last time I saw it, it was blue color. But if you have like a pond or fresh water, uh -huh. that that's not blue at all. No. And fresh and that's water very is not salty. Yeah, that's very surprising. In 2012, a boatman had been stuck on the ocean for about a whole bunch of weeks. Mm. And also, he he collected some cups and buckets. Mm -hmm. To collect the rainwater, not when it was raining, and he survived the ocean because he got big waves. Wow, that's some story. Yeah. Can you make more ocean? Go ahead. Okay, let's add more ocean.
Okay, we see why we added more water to the ocean. I'm gonna add the salt. The salt, boss! You can also find some salt is also located at Walt's or Walgreens or Walmart. Okay, we made our big ocean. Oh, we're gonna just wave it around for fish to go in the water. Swim, swim, swim. Making a ways. Okay, now the water is clear again because of that salt. Remember, it dissolves. And look how squishy because this water and plastic actually almost looks like a force to it. Actually, it's reflective. So, so the final yield of this big ocean is about 56 milligrams, which corresponds to a percent yield of 35%. It actually. And it actually comes very well for me because we have the salt water and due to heavy weight, it actually is required. So if you felt like making these copycat oceans or just some other experiments that you did as a kid, let me know in the comment section before it closes. Anyway, I think that's it for now and I'll see you guys on the next video. Again, I really want to Mm, give a very special thanks and to all those subscribers who have subscribed to my channel lately. If you're not new to my channel or maybe you've been seeing it in a while because I posted in 2020, please let me know on my email and, I'm, and you can probably subscribe one day. And also I'll continue making more videos but the problem is my computer is not ready for Roblox yet because of this graphic card. If you have any ideas on what the graphic card should be used, please let me know. And that's all I have to say for now for this beautiful water experiment. And I'll see you guys next time.